All right, so this is game four, and I'm here with uh, Roger. Um, hello. You want to just take us through your list? This is a, a fun Necron looking list. Okay, from right to left or left to right. Have a look at it. Nemesis Andrek and his little retinue of cryptex. Yep. Um, a Necron Lord with five destroyers with Oberon, 15 warriors, and two annihilation barges. In reserve, we've got three night sights with two units of warriors and a unit of death march. And a very nice looking night sight. Thank you very much. And three wraiths with transdimensional beamers. Excellent. And um, there's my conga line of uh, little termagants and my hiding monstrous creatures and the Morlock in the edge. And the interesting thing about this um, table, these big square things are making things fearless. So it's going to be an interesting game. All right. All right. So this is um, game four. Um, day. No, game. Yeah, game four. Game day, four. Two. day two. Um, what, what were you thinking? You got your Necrons. Oh, yeah. And that's right. uh, so you've got the. Uh, you've placed all your uh, guys in a defensive position, so I needed to uh, spread mine around because I wanted to actually come around and flank, uh, flank where your monstrous creatures were, mm -hmm. so they couldn't. I could basically tighten a noose around them. Yep. You also had the Yumgal Steelers, so I'd actually placed where I would not normally place models, so I would actually placing them in terrains to stop. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was any, warriors. Yeah, any yeah. like scariness jumping out at yeah. me. So, what um, was your general game plan, though? The game plan was to take out the uh, the flyerants. They're pretty much the scariest mm -hmm. thing on the board. Yep. All right. So um, we'll, we'll get into the game. We, yep. we can talk about um, your deployment. So um, here's what you're talking about. You're, you're putting your warriors in the actual terrain. Yeah. So you don't normally do that. Not normally. They're normally sat uh, at the back of the board, and Oberon will, uh, will either teleport them across the board mm -hmm. or they will just um, they'll sit there and capture objectives yep. as this was a killing uh, a kill mission um, I'd actually thought I'd just leave them in there and they'd just take do supporting fire yep. uh, as you moved all those uh, lovely termagants forward yep. and now here's, here's my little mistake of the game I moved my two flying hive turrets just I should have kept them back because I needed the plus one to reserves yeah um, and I didn't actually think you'd get them um, you know, I thought maybe you'd cause maybe one or two wounds. I didn't think you'd actually kill them all, but no, you did. Even yeah. though he had feel no pain, you, you didn't care. He's like, nah, he's dead. Uh, uh, there's a mistake that I did actually do is actually remove the um, uh, destroyer lord out of the unit. Yeah, I yeah. did leave Oberon in there, but Oberon doesn't have a resurrection orb, yeah. which came into well, which could have come into play later on. Yeah, I was I was wondering about that, like wh why you would want to actively charge this unit uh, to tie them up basically uh, yeah, yeah but the, I would want to do that for your like your destroyer lord is worse against me than you know what I mean I'm trying to tie you up but you're trying to tie me up and I, I thought it was hilarious it's like, yeah they're, they're pretty underestimated they they are stupidly resilient those destroyer lords mm. um, so yeah I've taken out one of the hive tyrants there um, and oh, your Morlocks just popped up on it and yeah your Mangala Steelers have just like appeared and are about to yeah. so first pretty turn, much eat everything. You smashed my Warlord, you got yeah. First Blood, Warlord Kill and a Point, because this yeah. was a Kill Point mission. Yeah. Um, and that was pretty much it, you missed, you whiffed on all the other things, you got a charge off and now we're in close combat. Oh not yet, no, next turn, that's right. Yeah. Um, my turn, I got not all my reserves and my Doom. My bloody doom. Yeah, your doom didn't turn up to something like turn four. Turn four. Yeah. That, see, if he turned up turn two, it would have gotten three mm. units and just not that, good enough. That was a hideous little trick that you did with the uh, flyer and, and taking over my my uh, annihilation barge and shooting my own guys. Yes. I thought, I thought that was <laughs> that pretty was kind funny. kind of like insane. Um, it actually worked. It doesn't yeah, always work. Yeah. Um, and that's why I, I got the charge and I actually killed that unit because if I didn't you would have had mm. much more overwatch Yeah um, So now here you go. We got into close combat yeah. and this lasts for the end of the game Yeah, you know, almost yeah, it's, <laughs> it's going and going and going. It's it does never end um, And your wraiths you forgot you said you forgot to hit and run them. Yeah in this game I think on every single turn I forgot to use Zandrick's special ability to give um, hit and run or furious charge or mm -hmm. one of the universal special rules to a unit mm -hmm. uh, I actually wanted to use the wraith to jump out and try to uh, get the big dimensional yeah. beamer your turvigon mm. uh, because I've yet to kill anything <laughs> meaningful with them 
Yeah, so I'm, I'm just right now, I'm tying up two of your units. You're popping around and, and doing fun things like here. Yeah, so my flies is like just like taking out some young gauss dealers and they're mm -hmm. uh, trying to have a go at the yeah, and, and flyer and again. There's a fun thing that just happened. My Yergmoth sealers assaults yeah. your destroyers. Um, don't, don't cause anything, any wounds, and you kill me all back. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened <laughs> with that. Um, yeah. <laughs> So I killed the warriors, but completely whiffed against your destroyers. Yeah. Um, now here's my devil gaunts, which the devil gaunts oh, come they, down. They, and did, they did well this game. Almost completely nuked the entire unit. And then the pod finishes off. And the then unit. the pod finishes the last guy. I thought that was hilarious. I, I um, did actually pass my uh, uh, deny the witch because we were going to make them toughness four. That's well. right. That's <laughs> right. Um, and maybe even hurt your boss boy, but mm. unlucky. And here we go down here. So Zandrix uh, teleported across the board using yep. the Veil of Darkness. And um, I, I needed, uh, was it a four to charge? Remember? Yeah, I, I yeah, failed the charge there four, and I was yeah. I was very sad there. <laughs> um, I rolled a three and that actually happened again in the game, in the next game. Oh, right. I needed a three to charge with fleet reroll, completely whiffed. Oh, no. um, Anyway, so your two flyers come on. Um, your yeah, yeah, other good. dudes, um, the death, the death marks. marks are still off. They're still in hyper, uh, hyperspace, I think, yeah. uh, waiting for the doom. Yeah, so you got your two flyers in. You're doing a bit of pew pew action. Yep. And just some more combat. My doom comes in, causes one wound against your destroyer lord. Destroy lord. Oberon's like, yeah, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> yep. And I managed to kill one of your um, sires with my hive tyrant, which yep. with one wound oh, left. No, remember? Was it? Was it your? Yeah, uh, with the shooting. But remember, um, oh yeah, it no, the, yeah, he caused one. Pod as well. Oh, the pod finished him yeah. off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, remember, you didn't. You managed to get him to, down to no, one wound left, down to one and he flew and off. Came back the next turn. Could not kill him. Um, and here we go. And this wraith's still still alive until you've charged in and like yeah. you and like crush him. My devil gorns go. Nah, stuff this. I've charged your destroyer lord. Roll a billion attacks, and you finally failed one. Yeah. And then I just pile in, so you can't come back. Yeah. When you charge these guys up, uh, down in the bottom corner with your um, yeah uh, Tervigon Oberon bloody over Oberon over there <laughs> bloody Oberon he he I, I try to make it so he couldn't come back but I only got um, he manages to hide just behind me yeah um, it's extremely tough to actually unless uh, you've got this <laughs> yeah unless you've got that like horde of gorns. unless you've got a horde of gorns, it's gonna be tough and so yeah. I, I decided not to go Oberon and I thought I could smash attack and kill and these unfortunately you'll see in a second my Morlock just doesn't make it into um, combat um, your guy comes on causes one more victory point and, and we call it there because you won yeah so. I, I've, I've tried to shoot your uh, hive tyrant there with the uh, my death mark to get the unit. warlord thing, but, uh, but that you didn't quite make quite it. Work. Um, so he flows over to. Oh, that's right, because I vector lock you here. Yeah. I, I do my shots, but I don't get any pens or anything like that. No. I vector lock you, you come through. I fly over and there. that's it. I was gonna you drop, drop your out. guys, and you got uh, line breaker. Yeah. It was a good game. Yeah. Thanks. Close, close win to cool. you, but it was a good game. All right.